hi boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen and dogs and cats and unicorns I I had a few minutes here so I thought I would go ahead and put in another episode of my um of my little dolly I have my company got here our company is here from Alabama, but they just left to go shopping, the young ones. So left the oldsters and one grandchild here. So we, the old, one oldster and the grandchild is working on crafts and, and that's what we're doing. Okay. And I am too. So I wanted to get to the next step of what I'm going to do. Okay. As you know, this is, this is, um, I'm going as, I'm just learning as I go, because I've never done this before, and I don't have any instructions. So, the only instruction I have is, have at it. So, here I have some, I have some decoupage that I got over to the Tuesday morning. It's called Martha Stewart Craft Decoupage. It says fabric to fabric. Which it's sort of fabric to fabric here, eh, not really. But um, what I've done here is I've got some scraps of fabric, and I just chopped them. I just cut them like into small pieces, just haphazardly, a little bit here and a little bit there. All right, now. And I've got just an assortment of things. Let me see. I have, because see, I have this little sack of just, I have this little sack. I just love Ziploc bags. I can keep all kind of stuff in Ziploc bags. It's easier than just having it in a wad. Okay, so there, we'll put them back off to the side. And then... This is my Ziploc bag where I keep my threads and stuff and little pieces. <clears throat> one one day I'll show you what I'm going to do with these, too. Got little pieces of real of scraps I can't use on. Well, I could cut more of it. But um, I'm just going to stick these in here. And this is going to make, this is going to make an art project as well. But okay, they're out of the way now. That's what we need is just a little bit more space here, Elizabeth. Okay, now. Okay, so now I'm going to use this here. This here. As soon as I find the thief that, oh no, thief wasn't there. I thought the thief stole my paintbrush, but no thief. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, this is thick decoupage. Um. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just cover her from her neck down with pieces of fabric. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just pieces of fabric from her neck down using this decoupage. Now this here, so you might think, well, why in the world did you paint her? Well, I don't know. I don't know. That's what my answer is. I don't know. I don't know. So, I might let, you know, if some of her painted parts show too, then then um, that's all right. You know, it's just really all okay. So, some of this fabric, like this here, is like a satin something. Very silky, satiny. It's pretty. Okay, but what I'm going to do is, you know, I should really, when I do this, I should use my webcam right off of the computer because then it would show, you know, from the side. But it's not showing from the side because I've got the camera above. <coughs> maybe, maybe the next time, we'll see, I can lay her down like this. She likes to take a nap anyway. Yes, my granddaughter got in safe and sound off the R plane, off of the A row plane, and um, from Birmingham. 
She's already not knowing what to do with herself without having two children dragging on her. But she needs a little break. Her hubster is up there taking fine care of the children. And they got their other grandma and grandpa up there so the children are fine. And she's only going to be gone away from them two nights. And so... And so Katie said she fixed the daddy bags for for the children's father. Because he said, how am I going to know what to put on her? You know, like the baby and stuff. Because the baby's only... Well, she was born on Valentine's Day, so she's that old. And um, so she made daddy bags that's got her clothes in so that she has clothes that match. Because, you know, girls don't like to have clothes that don't match, so... She took care of that for him so he doesn't have that stress. So, some, some fathers are a little challenged when it comes to dressing children and such. This is working out good because the fabric is molding around, around the, um, the doll real nicely. And so I'm trying to do like... Um, assortment, you know, like different colors here and different colors there. No. Now my plan is to have an, like no. this will just show as an underskirt, no. actually. It'll show like a petticoat. Oh, that was Papa. I thought the kids were already home from shopping and I thought, mm, that's too soon. Did you go check the mail, Papa? Mm-hmm. Did I get anything good? I don't know. You don't know? Yeah, some overstock. Oh, overstock? Yeah. A package? Oh, it's my thread. I ordered some thread from overstock. I already got mother goose tails. Oh, Arya, it's always happy to get mail. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we'll take that with us tomorrow. Oh, actually, tonight, um, the kids are going over there tonight to give to give um, Billy a heart attack. They're planning, so they can bring it. Wait a minute, I want to see this. This is my thread I ordered. I have to show you. I ordered this. Well, it's not actually thread. It's hemp cord. Hemp cord. I needed it desperately. You're going to smoke it. Oh, no. Wait a minute. This isn't my hemp cord. I ordered this. I didn't remember. This. Ooh. This isn't the <coughs> hemp cord. This is... This is silk. <gasps> Look at this, you guys. Aren't you Je Jeffrey, you did good. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, that Jeffrey, he's just over there. He I was giving him like instructions on to do his art doll, but he went he's taking his own. Oh my gosh. Look at this stuff. Oh, I cannot wait to play. Now that I have this. Oh gosh you, this is gonna go a lot on her on her skirt on her over skirt let me see how do you untwist this i don't know how to untwist it i imagine it's like tied in a knot or something like this maybe oh yeah oh yeah oh man oh, i'm excited for this i ordered hemp cord too but they come in separate packages apparently but this is, oh, that, um, oh, look at this. Oh, man, am I excited. These, look at this stuff. Oh, my gosh. Don't get too excited. I'm excited, Jeffrey. This, Don't get too excited. You might explode. I might explode. I could explode. Oh, are you all seeing this? Wait a minute. Look at this. Let me shine the light on this. Put the spotlight on this stuff. This is 
Does it say on that tag? Because Sashushi? No, that's the stitching. Um, it's like it's like the um, oh lord! <gasps> Look at all of that. It's the uh, I can't. Even, I'm just so excited that I can't even say the word. It's like it's like that. Sorry, ribbon. Look at this. Oh, I'm just shaking. This is amazing. Oh, I got to sell something now to pay for this. Look at it. It's got threads on it. Oh, and look at all the colors. Oh, I am so, uh, oh. Look at this. Th oh, I am. This is going this is going to be her skirt there i'm going to make her skirt that hangs over out of this oh this is so awesome oh i want to hug it oh it smells good okay i'm done hugging it okay i'm done going nuts over that stuff oh i cannot now i know i will get this done as fast as possible because I want to get to that part. The part of putting her, making her dress. Oh my gosh. And there's so much there. I didn't expect that there was going to be that much. What are you saying over there, Papa? Did you say that I was a little bit nuts? Are you talking to Jeffrey? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Jeffrey gets excited too with stuff. <coughs> Did you? Bring, let me see, Jeffrey. Can I show them my doll? Yeah, you got to hold it under here. Okay. Now look at Jeffrey's. Jeffrey's coming in with his. Look at there. He took a cardboard box. He's got some tape. He's got some Lego blocks. He. These are playing cards. He's got. And he's got some on his arm. He's got chopstick for the arms, chopsticks for the legs. And he looks like SpongeBob SquarePants. I think he's doing an awesome job. I don't know if he's finished. He might be finished. Or he might not be finished. But that was Jeffrey's, Jeffrey's art doll. He likes putting things together. He likes, he likes, he likes putting things together, and um, and to see what he comes up with. A lot of times he's done he he's done like nature. He's went out and got leaves and sticks, you know, like like um, little twigs and stuff, and he's made art projects out of those. He's really, he, he really tries a little bit of everything. I think he gets that from his grandma. From his grandma. I think so. Which is not a bad thing. Because we like, we like to do things. And now that we're learning a lot about recycled arts or reusable, rejuvenated, relived, relifed. That kind of thing. It's it's amazing what we've learned. What what we're learning along the lines, along the way, to make beautiful things. So I know I spent money to buy that sorry ribbon. That's what it is. Sorry ribbon. <coughs> sorry ribbon. And what they say, what it said in the Etsy shop, in the Etsy shop is um, I'll have to get a link to that shop I went to in case any of you are interested in that stuff. It's a little pricey. Don't tell my husband. But it's a little pricey. But um, but it's worth it. I did not realize there was going to be that much. But what they say is it actually comes off the floors in the sewing shops where these saris are made. It is collected up off of the floors, and then it is cleaned up. It is like they say this here is like, I don't know how long of a piece, but they said it's just fastened together here and there. 
And so once I get to really look at it, I'm going to see how that works. But um, I, I know already I am so excited with it. that I am just so excited with it. Now see here I've got some denim. I've got... These are fabrics that I, these fabrics here that I'm using are fabrics that came from, if you remember when I showed my Goodwill haul, when I went to the Goodwill and I bought all of those valances, curtain valances that were like next to nothing in price, you know, if they have one mismatched valance, you know, they don't charge a whole lot of money for it because they think who, who would want one mismatched Valance, well, that would be me. And um, so that's what a lot of this is. I've just cut the pieces apart. And I cut the pieces apart and into small little, well, I won't say squares because they're not really squares. They're just whatever shape just happened to fall apart when I, when I was cutting. So, so I'm... I'm, I'm getting this on here. This will probably be all I'll get to today because I'm sneaking minutes in between between family. Well, actually, see, since my um, since my studio is actually my living room, I have family around me all the time, so I like that. I don't like to be alone, and so my sewing room. That I'm always alone in there. No, not always alone because sometimes I make my husband come and drag a chair in there and sit with me. And he'll sit there and read just so I don't have to be alone. So he does that sometimes when I'm in my sewing room. But I have to leave the door shut on my sewing room because I'm not, I don't let the dogs in there because I don't want them to make themselves comfortable like in a pile of fabric or something. I, I don't want dog I don't want dog germs or whatever that would be on my fabric. Dog poop, dog poop Papa says. And um they would not poop in there. You think they would? Papa thinks they'd poop in there. They wouldn't poop in there, but I just don't want like dog dander. Let me see here. This is so pretty, the satiny stuff. But now, see, this This I'll want to dry anyway. See, the thing about doing a craft like this is you got to wait for dry time. But I don't mind I'll, I'll, because I'm doing other things, too. I'm doing other things. And since I'm doing other things, then I can always be doing other things. That sounded stupid, didn't it? Not stupid. I'm not supposed to. I'm sorry I said that word, Jeffrey. We're not supposed to say that word, stupid. Because nothing is stupid. Nobody is stupid. So, but like this. I think I showed, I showed a picture to some of you. I got this package that I ordered something. Gosh, I'm always ordering stuff. And this here, cardboard, was in the packaging. This. It was like a whole bunch. Like, this is a whole roll full of it. A whole roll full. And it's like they took old cardboard boxes and just put slices in it. But I think it, I just took this one piece and I glued it to a piece of chipboard. But I think it looks like a wood fence. So I'm going to be gessoing this and painting it. That's another thing I'm doing of the million things I do at one time. But see, so I can work on that while this is drying. See, I always have to have something to work on whenever, you know, for drying time. Although this weekend is going to be quite busy with our little wedding thing going on. I love weddings. I'm so happy my son's getting married to the most wonderful woman on the planet. I love you, Bianca, if you're watching this world well. Bianca doesn't watch it. She she doesn't watch my videos too much because she watches crocheting videos because she's a, that girl, she could look 
at something and crochet it. She does not need a pattern. And I mean, she made, like I, I told you all before, she's like my son and my daughter-in-law, they're like nerds. And they like all of these, like comic characters and stuff. I like comic characters. Yes, I know you do, Jeffrey. And so she can take a comic character and she can crochet him or her. And stuffs it up and puts all the detail on them and everything. And she just does it out of her head. It's only 25 years old. It takes me 14 patterns and 14 years to get one item finished. But, but now mixed media art, just give me something. Just give me something and I'll make something out of it. I used to not do this. I used to have to have, I used to have to, I used to did have to have, um, I used to did have to have instructions for everything, you know, like patterns for sewing, because I've done a lot of sewing, but you know, patterns, actually, I, actually, there's been a few things I made without a pattern, like I had a dress one time that I just absolutely loved, and so... And that's when I was working, like having to go and punch a time clock and stuff. But I loved the dress so much, and I wanted another one. And I made one. I just measured the parts and the pieces and and made another one. So I had two. And so I have done that, but not that much. Usually I've had to have a pattern. And so, so here I've almost got her skirt part completely covered now somebody left a comment in my last in my last episode I was left a comment that that I should put like a doily underneath her when she's done so when you lift up her skirt you'd see the doily and good idea I'm going to do that but I'm also going to have just one row of ruffled lace of ruffled lace, I don't know what color yet, but there's going to be ruffled lace along the bottom. You see, sometimes I come up with, I come up with ideas when I read your comments. <laughs> so your comments, please comment. Give me, give me ideas and stuff because I'm new at this. So give me ideas. And then I had one girl, she asked me, Veronica, she asked me, she says, is it okay if I just copy your idea and make one of those dolls? And I said, absolutely, positively, you do that. In my, in, in my way of thinking, when, when somebody copies or tries to imitate, not imitate, but use your inspiration, that is the best form of flattery ever. So I'm flatterated. I am so flatterated that she wants to make one too. So I hope she does. And I hope she does it fast. Because I want to see what she comes up with. Because I know it will be fantastic. Because actually, Veronica from the Rose City Crafter, she's the first one that I saw make an art doll. She was the first one. And then Secret Soda, I saw her make one. And, I, man, I was hooked. I said, I have got to do this. And so between the two of them, between those two, I have, I'm just blown away with inspiration. And um, I am definitely, definitely ready to get this finished. Now this, do I got, I think I have her whole skirt area. Oh, I need a little bit right here. Let's see. Little piece, ooh, like this one. This one right here. I'm not even checking in the computer screen to make sure I'm in frame. I'm not very good videographer, but I think I'm close, partly in frame anyway, That's that's okay. Okay, so now that's her whole skirt. And of course, that'll dry clear so you won't see all that white on there. But now I've got to get her her shoulders and stuff here a little bit more. I need to really 
I wonder if that light helps a little bit, yeah. Okay, now I need to have, I need to have a little bit more. Oh man, I'm so excited with that sorry ribbon that come in the mail today. Oh, I am so happy because that is going to really, really. So with the sorry ribbon, To make a skirt with, like it'll be a almost like a fringy, like a fringy skirt. That's what I've got in mind. I don't think I'll change my mind. I think that's what I'll have. But I think that's what I'll have. That's what I have in mind right now, anyway, is to have a fringy style skirt. Gosh, yes. And then. It'll be beautiful for dancing. So if she wants to dance, if she wants to both do the bohemian jig, I'm sure there's a bohemian jig. If not, we'll invent one. How you doing over there, Jeffrey? Good. Okay. Did you put any more on your doll? It kind of broke apart. Oh no. Sorry. No, that's okay. You'll um that's okay. If you take it apart, then you can put it back together in another way, maybe. I've got some more hints and I got some more helpful hints for you too. You may not like them, but uh there I offer them for free anyway. Like 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 tips and tricks. Channel. Tips and tricks? Tips and tricks. Yeah. Instead, your name is Elizabeth Brewer. Yeah, that's that's pretty boring, isn't it, Jeffrey? Well, I got a name of Scrap and Lizzie, too, so that's not quite as boring as Elizabeth Brewer. I used to not like my name. When I was a teenager, I didn't like to be called Elizabeth because I thought it was old-fashioned. So everybody called me Liz. Except my dad. He called me Lizzie. And now I like the name Lizzie. And I like the name Elizabeth. So that's what most people call me is Elizabeth. I want to do stuff out of scraps. So you're Scrap and Lizzie. Scrap and Lizzie. That's right. Because I like to use scraps. That's right. Okay. Oops. Don't stick there. I think I'm going to put some, like a round piece of felt on her bottom. On the bottom when she's finished. Yes, now this, once I get her arms done, okay, I don't have to cover her hands. I'm not going to cover her hands because her hands, I'm going to be, I think I'm going to be painting like. Or a drawing or something. To it looks like fingers wrapped around the cord when she's holding the cord. Gosh, this I'm I'm being happy with this. I'm I am being happy. Happy, 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 joy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, happy, joy, joy. Happy joy. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Richard, stop it. Gosh, my family is so odd. My family's a lot. And then see, Jeffrey gets all, all, he gets all so entertained by his grandfather acting goofy. Ooh, now I'm getting stuff stuck on me. Oh, yeah. See? I think she's looking beautiful just like that. But she is going to get more. She's going to get more. Let me put some of this purple. <coughs> eyelash trim around her like this. 
Let me just put that on there like that. See, it'll stick right there to that just because it was there. And then here's a little piece of red rickrack. And there's some there's some wet decoupage medium. I bought this at the um, Tuesday morning, this decoupage. But when I'm done with this jar, I'm gonna when I'm done with all the decoupage stuff that I have, I'm gonna make my own. Now I got all the stuff. The hubster bought me a whole gallon, a gallon of of um, Elmer's glue. I'm excited. All right, now that's for today. She's gonna dry. She's gonna dry. Now, see, all I've done was had those little tiny patchwork pieces of fabric, and I have them all just decoupaged on there with this matte fabric to fabric durable matte finish. Martha Stewart decoupage. That's what I used. All right. And just the fabrics. There's one fabric there that's got, um, that one fabric there has got sequins on it. And the other ones, just different, just different kind of fabrics. Now, I have also this. I have some of this trim like this. And I thought it might go... Once I put the the ribbon down, the ribbons that are going to go down over this, then I think this will go around. I might even, I'm not sure. I, cut, I got more of this. This is really cool stuff too. But, um, and then I was playing around with, I think is going to be her hair. And see, like I pulled... I pulled some some thread off the spool the other night, yesterday, when I made the last one, and then I pulled off some blue. Excuse me, ma'am. Go right there. I pulled off some like a blue thread, and then some teal thread, and then some gold thread. This whole th I can't lay it on her head right now because she's wet. But see. If I put it over her head like this and it flows down her back like this, won't that be beautiful? And then this top part would be glued on. I might have to take and just might maybe stitch like a headband of sorts on here to hold hold this whole thing together up here but then this part down here will just flow and maybe if I cut it I don't know I may not cut it though I might not give her a haircut I might just leave it like this because I like this look does it wouldn't you love it if your hair looked like that I bet you would okay now I'm gonna go wash this brush but first see the kids aren't back from shopping yet so see I did fit that in here. I get my three wisdom cards. One, two, three. Okay. Now, three wisdom cards. I bless my family with love. If you want love and acceptance, if I want love and acceptance from my family, then I must have love and acceptance for them. That's perfect right there. We don't need no explanation on that one. Okay. And family. Huh? And family. And family, yes. You are my family, Jeffrey. <coughs> I forgive all past experiences. <clears throat> I do not have to know how to forgive. All I have to do is be willing to forgive. The universe will take care of the how. And the one thing that I always add that I learned is forgiveness does not mean condoning. You can forgive yourself or you can forgive others. You do not have to condone the action. So that's a very good one. Okay. I treat myself with unconditional love. I feel my heart opening and I know that there is room in there for me. 
Now you, some people I know love others and they don't love themselves. You must love yourself to be able to love others. I've learned that. And I am learning. And those are the three cards for today. I thank you so very much for watching. And I will be back probably maybe Sunday. I don't know. Sunday afternoon maybe I may be back with this is part three. And the next one will be part four. I kind of drew her face on there a little bit. Somebody told me I can just put a nose on there with um with um a squirt of hot glue. And that's what I think I'm gonna do. The squirt of hot glue. I've been getting a lot of of um names too, suggestions. Somebody suggested I named her Flo, F L O W, Flo. I had somebody suggest that I name her Sanny Terry. Sanny Terry. That's a good name. And what was that other one? There was another one that was really pretty doggone cool too. Oh, I can't think of it right now. But anyhow, I've I've been getting uh, ideas and suggestions of what I should name her. But um, I like her. So far, I like her. All right. I'm going to let you go now. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. God bless you. Let me he watch over every step you take, every move you make, and I will see you on the next video. And Jeffrey says goodbye as well.